All right, so I'm gonna address an issue that I see happen all too often on these videos, and that's the right way to remove an ax head from a handle. Now, if you're going to save the handle, I understand you drill out the wood wedge, drill out the wood wedge in the top, and remove the handle. Now, this handle has a big crack right here. So this handle's gonna be scrapped, and I'm gonna be using this head to make a bushcraft uh, cooking ax, uh, carving ax, cooking ax, and all around good bushcraft pack ax. Um, so stay tuned for that, uh, hit subscribe, and that way you'll, you'll, you'll be getting it in your feed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the handle and we're gonna, we're gonna cut the handle right here at the bottom of the ax and we're gonna tap the remaining wood through the top of the eye. So for some reason, people think that the handle needs to come out the way that it went in and that's just simply not true. Um, nine out of 10 of these, it'll go right out through the top with, with ease. Uh, another issue you have when you're sitting here with the drill bit and you're just hogging this sucker out, you know, what you're gonna do is you're gonna nick the inside of the ax head. And as soon as you get a burr in there, and you go putting a new handle back in that eye, that burr's gonna, gonna catch that handle going in. So now you have to take a file, you gotta put a file inside of the eye, you gotta clean up that eye, and, and it's a pain in the butt, and it's just a lot of work that you don't need to do. So we're gonna do this the easy way, and I'm gonna show you how, how it's done. Stay tuned. All right, so if you don't have a vise to clamp your head into, you can, uh, you can just send the, the ax head into a good chopping block. So as we can see, it's pretty loose. Um, this one's gonna come out real easy unless I pulled out a couple nails in the, in the top of the eye. There's still two in there that I couldn't get. So if those nails run all the way down into this section, then we'll have a problem with the saw. So I'm just gonna take a coping saw. And, and the, the goal here is to, to get your handle out of the head a little bit so that you can see the wood that was inside the handle. If you get into the handle wood that, that is outside of the eye, it starts tapering up and you're gonna be, you know, pounding um, a, a, a thicker wood through the eye. So you do wanna get the, the wood that was inside of the eye. So if you can pull it out a little bit, that's great. If not, then your other option would be to uh, to sand this down, take a file, a rasp or something, and, and get this section sanded down a little bit so that it'll go through. Because again, we have a smaller size eye on the bottom than we do on the top. All right, so now we're just gonna tap, tap that remaining wood all right I had to get a had to get a different piece that <clears throat> this here was uh, was too small of a surface space and it was it was just sinking into the wood so I'm gonna hit it with this this chisel we got a little bit more surface space uh, normally I have a an old screwdriver that's really really thick that I cut the tip off of and it works really good but can't seem to find it right now All right, there you go. All right, there we have it, super basic hand tools, and we didn't damage the eye. There's no burrs inside, we didn't have to hammer 
on the axe head at all and it came right out really easy no frustration sometimes you got to think outside the box so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you hope you gained some knowledge out of it uh, think about subscribing leave a comment have a good day guys